Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. We are treating uh, engineering three science and three moments. We've got a question here whereby the first question says state the law of moments. The second question define moment of a force. And the third question is the which is the last question says a beam is 16 meters long and has a mass of in evenly distributed weight of 300 neutrons the beam carries two concentrated loads of 70 neutrons and 100 neutrons which are two meters and five meters from the left end respectively the two supports are placed at the ends of the beam a distributed load of 15 neutrons per meter is placed over the last six meter on the right side of the beam Calculate the magnitudes of the support, supporting forces, test your answers and draw the shear force diagram to scale. Okay, then let's uh, answer the question. Question 1 says, uh, law, state the law of moments. And the law of moments states that a system of forces in equilibrium is in equilibrium if the sum of the left hand moments about the fulcrum is equal to the sum of the right hand moments about the same fulcrum and mind you the fulcrum it's a point against which a lever turns or is supported so that means it's a point on a beam whereby the the beam can uh, turn or rotate around so let's uh, define that or state that law And that's the law of moments and uh, number two says defined moment of a force and the moment of a force can be described as the product of the perpendicular force and the distance of the force from the fulcrum so is And that's it and then for number three it will be much better if we draw this beam that we are given and place all the load that loads that we are told about so let's see this beam it's from here and then 
has uh, let's see one meter and it's uh, 16 meters and we are told that uh, the beam is 16 meters long and then there's a concentrated loads of 70 newtons and 100 newtons which are two meters and five meters from the left hand side okay the center of the beam is around here which is eight meters so five will be somewhere around here and two oh this is zero actually zero meters and then two let's say two it's here and five it's here okay there's five it's here and two meters is here so we are told that there's a point load and since the load that means it's going downwards so we've got this point load here of 70 neutrons and we also have another point load here 100 neutrons and then we are also told that uh, the beam has a mass of evenly distributed distributed load of uh, 30 newtons that means this distributed load has already been multiplied by the length of the beam and they got the point load which is 3000 newton and we know that a distributed load acts at the middle so if it's acting across the whole beam which is 16 meters and it acts at the middle that means it's going to act at 8 meters because 16 divided by 2 it's 8 so we've got that load it's longer than this one it has to be the longest actually which is weight equals to 3000 newtons and then it has supports at the end of the beam so support a let's say it's called r a reaction a and then support b does reaction b and then we are also told that a distributed load of 50 newtons per meter is placed over the last six meters so there's eight and then let's say here it's 10 so the last six meters will be from 10 to 16 and then that's where we've got the distributed load we can represent it like this or as slanted uh, arrows and it's 15 meters per neutrons that's it and then from there we change uh, the distributed load to a point load so that we can solve for reactions so we've got a reaction here got 70 newtons got 100 newtons there got 3000 newtons we've got a reaction here then to get uh, the point load here which will be at the middle and the middle is going to be 13 because it's from here to there so we're going to see uh, 16 minus 10 divided by 2 it's going to give us 3 which is here and we add that 3 to the 10 it's going to be 13 so it's 13 meters 16 meters here 8 meters 5 meters 2 meters and we've got 0 meters here it's re 70 newtons 100 newtons w which is 3000 newtons and here the point load it's going to be 15 times the distance the distance is uh, 16 minus 10 which is 6 so it's going to be 15 times 6 which is 19 newtons then we've got uh, this uh, reaction load reaction b here then now we solve for for the reactions so to solve for the reactions oh, sorry about the noise 
Now we are going to see uh, the moment about E. So it's going to be moment about E equals to zero since this is in equilibrium and it's balanced so the moments will end up, will end up to zero. Then we start a, a meet like calculating those moments. So we're going to have the first one as moment due to this 70 newtons. And we know that a moment that causes the beam to turn clockwise, it's negative. And one which turn which causes the beam to turn anti-clockwise, it's positive. So one, two, three, four are going to cause uh, moment moments in the negative direction because they are causing the beam to turn clockwise. So it's going to be negative 70 times 2 minus 100 distance from A to this 100 is 5 times 5 times distance from times negative 3000 distance from A to this point it's 8 so it's times 8 yeah, it's not times actually it's minus and then minus 90 times distance from A to this point is 13 plus RB RB causes the beam to, to turn anti-clockwise so it's positive times the distance which is 16 and all this equals to 0 and if we Take the negatives to the other side it's going to be 16 r b equals to let's add all this there's my calculator here it is it's going to be negative 70 times 2 close bracket plus negative 100 times 5 close bracket plus negative 300 3000 times 8 plus negative 90 times 13. That's what we get. Take it to the other side, it becomes positive. It's going to be 25810. Then RB equals to 25810 over 16, which is uh, six, it's two five eight one zero divided by sixteen. It gives us one six one three point one two five neutrons for reaction B. Then to get reaction A, since like these forces are acting in the y direction, and we have all the forces except one, and we know that our beam is in equilibrium, so we're going to set an equilibrium equations for forces acting in the y direction so some of forces in the y direction cos to zero since they are in equilibrium so it's going to be r a since it's going upwards minus 70 minus 100 since it's these are going downwards minus 100 minus 3000 minus 90 plus 1613.125 for rb which is going upwards equals to zero therefore r e equals to then these are going to be positive when you take them to the other side and this will be negative so let's add that it's going negative 70 minus 100 3000 minus 90 plus one six one three point one two five so it's going to be r b minus one six four six point eight seven five cos to zero therefore r e equals to one six four six point eight seven five newtons that's the reaction at e then 